Hi, welcome back to the Ships Inn. I want to first welcome Lulu back to the desk. Welcome back. Thanks, Bailey. Glad to be back. Let's get started with a look from our favorite moments of this past Friday at the Jogathon with our very own Kieran Kelly. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Kieran and we're here at the Jogathon. I'm going to be running some laughs and we're going to talk to people while we're running about what they're running for. <laughs> So we're here at the Jogathon with Linus. And how do you think the Jogathon is going so far? Great. Are you gonna run another lap? Yeah. Let's go. Woo. I'm here. I'm on lap 11. What lap are you on? Eight. Eight. How are you feeling so far? Tired. How many more you got in you? I don't know, but at least I got the VIP food. VIP. Yeah. I'm gonna sign off here. This has been Kieran on the street from the Jogathon. I'm gonna go take a nap. Groovy. Glad to see everyone running to support the cause. Next up, we wanted to show some of the footage from the school-wide walkout that was hosted last Wednesday in honor of the Parkland shooting victims. Janie Gutenberg, Carmen Shentra, Aaron Feist, Christopher Hickson, Gina Montalto, Alex Schacher, Helena Ramsey, Elena Petty, Peter Wong, Luke Hoyer, Joaquin Oliver, Kara Lochran, Martin Duke Anguilino, Meadow Pollock. Our hearts go out to the victims and their families. Pilgrim is also hosting a second walkout and activism day on April 20th to promote the citizenship among students. Pilgrim also hosted its annual Cafe Barnum on March 9th. The excellent lineup displayed a wide variety of talents. Let's see some of the outstanding performances. Thanks to all the performers and everyone who helped plan and set up the event. Moving on, we have a brand new promo for the highly anticipated game between Conti's Shot Callers and Beardsley's Ballers. 
Out of the two teams, which one would you like to be drafted by and why? Well, I would definitely like to be drafted by Mr. Beardsley because he's an East Coast guy like me. He's kind of old school. He's going to show a little toughness, a little mental toughness that I'm not sure that Mr. Concialdi's teams would have, being you know kind of the soft West Coast type. Hello, I'm a senior Kevin Gibson Weinberger. Kevin, why do you deserve to be a first-round pick? Hi, my name is Kevin. I have a basketball game tomorrow. One of the reasons why I think I should be picked, it, picked first round is I can do this. I can touch the ceiling while standing on my two feet with, bare, with, with a small amount of tiptoeing. Conce or Beardsley? Um, I'm going to have to go with uh, Mr. Concialdi. I've worked uh, extensively with him in the STEM department. The only concern is his uh, broken shoulder or whatever. Hello, I'm here with Mr. George. Mr. George, why do you deserve to be a first-round pick? Because I have my own microphone. Concy or Beardsley? Mr. George. Hello, I'm here with ninth grader Olivia Broncado. Olivia, what team would you like to be drafted by and why? I would like to be drafted by Concy's team because there is no coming back from his Mr. Maynard roast. Hello, I'm here with Mr. Maynard. Mr. Maynard, what are your skills like in basketball? Well, it's been a while since I've played, but um, I'm sure that I can, can take most of the faculty and most of the Pilgrim students on pretty easily. Who would you like to get picked by and why? Um, I'm going to have to go with Beardsley. Um, for starters, he's a, a fellow Tufts grad in Jumbo. And secondly, um, I don't think Consi can play basketball. I don't even think that he could play when his arm wasn't injured. And um, he talks a lot of trash, so I'm going to have to put him in his place. Wow, I can't wait to see everyone's faces when Team Concialdi blows Team Beardsley out of that cold, tea-saturated Boston water. Well, oh, oh, okay. I've just been informed that we have a brand new Getting to Know episode. Let's learn a little bit more about Pilgrim's resident college counselor, Miss Franklin. Hi, I'm Latoya Franklin. I am the director of college counseling, and this is Getting to Know. Uh, fall. I like fall, well, not really much in Los Angeles, but fall in New York because it's like very colorful. You have like the brown, orange, red leaves. Uh, you can wear like cool layers and scarves and hats, so fall. I love Pilgrim. It's such a nice place. All the students are really friendly. The staff is really friendly. It's just a really positive place and I think everyone is really invested in learning and growing with each other, which is cool. Well, prior to Pilgrim, I worked with several different schools. I worked in public and charter. So Pilgrim is definitely much smaller than those schools, which is nice because I get a chance to get to know students on a deeper level than my prior experiences. I can't choose. I use both. I make, was, I make a macaroni pie, which I'm from Trinidad. So it's, basically it's baked macaroni, but we call it macaroni pie. And I put both green pepper and red pepper. And it's like different parts of the grocery store and I have to go to both parts to get both my peppers. The toughest part of being a college counselor is when people don't listen to me. I've been working with students for like 12 years now. I've been college counseling since I was in college. I started an organization called College is Reality when I was a junior in college. So it's been with me for over a decade now. Um, but before I was a full-time college counselor, I actually practiced law full-time. Well, I went to Cape Town, South Africa last year, and that was really, really amazing. And so I would like to go there like every single year if I could. I would turn into Sophie, the cat that lives in front of Pilgrim. I think Sophie has an amazing life. Uh, Sophie gets fed. Sophie gets pet, like rubbed every day by different students. Sophie just lays out on the lawn, has her little house. And it's just like really appreciated. So yeah, it'd be Sophie. <laughs> Hi, I'm Miss Franklin. And the first step to getting anything you want in life is to believe you deserve it. Thank you, Miss Franklin. And I just wanted to say that spring break is coming up soon. Guys? Where did everybody go? Please help. Mom. Mom.